Hey guys, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, what's happening everybody? I just quickly wanted to touch on Rosecraft Blades. Um, just basically the value you get in these knives, what you get for your money, fit and finish, um, you know, stuff like that. If you, if, if you choose to go down this road and you choose to pick one of these up, I just want to kind of introduce you into what you're going to be, what you're going to be purchasing, so to speak. These are, as a matter of fact, before I go any further, I have one on the way. It should be here in, in a day or two. It's, um, it's similar to this one. It's another Barlow. It's the new Barlow. And that Barlow is unbelievable, man. Um, just the look of that thing is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's similar to this one here. It's similar to this, but it's not quite the same. It's got uh, subtle differences, but enough differences to, 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 to change the whole uh, piece around quite a bit. Um, but it's similar to this Barlow. This is a Barlow here. So I just wanted to tell you that. Um, so you'll be seeing a video on that coming up. But right now, like I said, I just wanted to talk to you and I just wanted to run down. I just wanted to run you through a couple of these um, just to let you know what you're getting involved in. The fit and finish, what you get for your money is just simply unbelievable. These are top quality knives here. They really, really are. And a lot of people like them for good reason. Um... Andy Armstrong is the owner. Um, he has um, tried to put forth just an excellent, an excellent product for us guys and ladies. And I think that he has succeeded and done that. Um, they're just, uh, they're just really, really good knives. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to run down a few of these with you. Just in case you're interested in picking one up, you see what you're what you're dealing with here. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and get started. This first one here, I forget a lot of the names, guys. Um, this is the French Broad Jack. Now just look at this bone. Look at the construction of this knife. Now, guys, if you've been around my channel for any given time, any amount of time at all, you know that I have pretty much a lot of high-end knives in my collection, right? I collect a lot of GECs. I've got over 40 GECs, guys. I'm no stranger to higher-end knives. But the fit and finish you get on these knives that are 50 40 50 60 dollars are on par with some of the most expensive knives in my collection look at this bone just take a look at this bone i'm not going to take up a lot of your time i just want to move it along i want to show you the blade i want to show you what you're looking at like i said this is the um this is the french brawl jack beautiful beautiful piece just a beautiful piece fit and finish action just you can't get better action you just can't get better action the next one up here what are we looking at here we got the uh luca Husi, uh no we got the briar the briar uh patch jack the briar patch this is probably my favorite so far in the collection two blade configuration it's a bigger piece and it is just i can't even keep it in frame with would it open let's shut one of the blades down as a matter of fact let's do it like this there we go look at this piece look how beautiful these two this two blade configuration is Just an awesome, 
awesome, awesome knife, guys. You can't beat it. Look at that bone. Look at that smoky gray bone. We'll move along for time purposes. But this was the Briar Patch Jack. The Briar Patch. The next one up, I showed this one to you. This is the, um, the Luca Husi. This is the Luca Husi Jack. Look how beautiful. This rosewood is. This wood. It's a beautiful, beautiful Barlow. Clip point blade. Just an awesome, awesome piece. Look at the fit and finish. Again, we're going to show you the action. If you get one of these, it's safe to say the action is going to be the same on all of them. Fit and finish is pretty much going to be the same. You got this guy here. One, two, three, four. This is the Luca Husi. This is the Luca Husi Jack. Just give you a look around it real quick. Look at the covers on this one. It looks like some kind of deer prints. Somebody said it was deer prints. That's what I heard. I don't know. But whatever it is, it's beautiful. Just, just beautiful. Look at that. Again, fit and finish. Action, really, really good. This one, some of them are more snappy than others. This one here, one, two, three, four, five. This is the, uh, I can't even say the word. Nola Chucky, Nola Chucky Jack. This is my blade. I call this my blade of the year. This is what I called this one here. I called this one, this is my blade of the year. This one right here. The Nola Chucky. This is my blade of the year, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, as far as I'm concerned. It's it's subject to change. But right now, what I what I see in this knife, what I see in this knife is just it's it's hard to beat this is a tough one to beat ladies and gentlemen just look at it i mean come on you got all this belly in the blade look at that blade look how beautiful these covers are i mean to find something to push this one out now again this is budget knives this we're not talking of course you could push this one out if you if you put a five thousand dollar knife up against it this is what, a 40, what's this, a $50, $55, dollars $55 knife? This is in the budget territory, guys. This is my budget blade of the year. Just love that knife, love that knife. This one here is a muskrat. I forget the name of it. It's the... Uh, I, for, I can't even say the name of it. Luca Hasi. Nolichuk. This is the Sasquatchy. Sasquatchy River Muskrat. Now, this muskrat is absolutely fantastic. Look at these blades. Look at that blade on that muskrat. Now, the second blade's even better. I'll show you when I open it because I can't keep it in screen. But just look at these covers. Look at the covers. You got that one blade there. Now check this other blade out. Look at, listen to that snap. Listen to that. Now this one, the other blade, it can't down. See it? See how nice that is? 
Just look at those covers. Look at those um, um, G10 covers. My card, I'm sorry. Look how beautiful that my card is. Look at that knee in the leg. Listen to that action. This one here is the Beaver Creek Barlow. This is another home run. Look at that, where it says the RC, Rosecraft on the uh, bolster there. Look at the bone, look at the, look at the, look at the, um, the blade. How they cut that swedge at the end there. Look how beautiful that cut swedge is there. The Beaver Creek Barlow. Look at that bone. These are all 40, 50, you know, in that price range. Nothing up here is going to break your bank, break your pocketbook. Nothing. But this is a gorgeous piece. In hand, feels good in hand. I get all four fingers on it. Beautiful in hand. Action. Just goes right into that half stop. Right on in there. Right on in there. Everything you like, guys, it's got it. Just take a look around it. Everything softened. All the corners have been softened, rounded. You can see they're all rounded. See it? Look at them corners, how they're rounded. Rounded. They're not square corners, are they? You don't see square corners there. That's rounded corners. It's all been tumbled and softened. You got that one there. And then you got the last one, which I don't know what it's called. I'll have to look at that one. Um, it's called uh, the Clinch River Swayback. This is the good old Clinch River. Now, to be honest with you, I love the blade, love everything about this piece. Just a home run of, a, love this piece. Look at that blade. It's a just an awesome blade to do some serious work with. Serious, serious work with. But the one thing I could have did without was that right there. I don't need that. I don't need the, um, what's that called? The uh, pry bar, a little pry on the back there. That I didn't need. I could file that off. That's easy enough to, to take a file to and this file that right off there. But that's okay. It's on there. It's fine. It's on there. It's on there. But nevertheless, the, the blade makes up for it. Look at the blade. You talk about doing some kind of cutting chores. Cut a tomato with this. Go ahead, cut a tomato with this. And they all come out of the box scary sharp they all the bevels are all even all the bevels on all the pieces i get are all even just just really really fantastic knives coming out of rosecraft i just wanted to put that little video out there just in case you were looking at getting into a um a rosecraft blade um you can't you can't go wrong you can't go wrong it's money well 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 spent your money is well spent if you pick up one of these knives it's there guys the construction is there the quality is there the fit and finish is there everything is there there's nothing that I could fault with these knives. Every one of them come just on top. Perfect. Every one of them come just great. I love this, um, this wood. Look how beautiful this wood is on this piece. Look how gorgeous that sandalwood is. Just look at this. I've really been getting into Barlow's, guys. I have really been getting into Barlow's. Look at that. Isn't that a nice looking piece? Tell me that's not a nice looking piece. 
you can't get much better than that for 55 bucks. I think this one's 55 bucks. How are you going to beat 55 bucks for that kind of quality wood? D2. D2 steel. Look at these bevels. Look at the bevels. Now, I did strop these. But just look, I mean, you know, the quality. I'm just trying to bring out the quality to you. And that's about it, guys, really. I just wanted to sh do that video for you guys, like I said, because they're making, they're coming out with a couple bombs, man. They're, they're coming out with a couple good ones. Jump on board, man. I'm telling you, jump on board. You don't want to miss out. I'll tell you that. You don't want to miss out on these. They're too good. They're too good to miss out. And if you don't like it, what do you have? 50 bucks, 55 bucks? So what? So what? Use it as a beater. Use it as a beater. Do whatever you want with it. If you don't like it, don't buy them no more. But you're doing yourself a disservice if you don't try one. If you don't try one, you're, you're not going to know. You're not going to know. All right, guys, that's it on my end over here. I just wanted to get that out there and show you guys these. Um, use be good, be well, and please be safe out there. And um, drop me a comment. You know I love reading them. And um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Use take care. I'll be doing a video soon again on another one of these that will be coming through. Use take care, guys. Pick up a um, Rosecraft blade. Talk to these later.